Hi guys and welcome to TechPaste. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix the error code 0x800707f from the Windows 11 installation assistant. So as you may know, Windows 11 was officially launched on October the 5th and um, one of the ways of upgrading to Windows 11 from Windows 10 is to use the Windows 11 installation assistant. But the Windows 11 installation assistant sometimes has some issues, some errors that can occur while trying to update Windows 11. Users reported that sometimes near the finishing process of installing or downloading Windows 11, the error code appeared and others reported that the error code appeared at the beginning of the process. But nonetheless, in this video, I'm gonna show you a few things that I'm hoping will help you fix this issue. So we're gonna go to the official Windows 11 download page. We're gonna download the Windows 11 Assistant and as I've said some users when they opened up the uh, Windows 11 Assistant or when they tried to install Windows 11 using the Assistant they weren't able to install or upgrade to it because they received that error code 0x800 707f so let me show you in this video what you can do in order to fix this issue first of all we're gonna run the system file checker in Windows 10 it's very important that when we are doing the upgrade Windows 11 is in a good state doesn't have any corrupted important Windows files or any other missing important system files. So we're going to run the system file checker. For that, just press the Windows key, type in here CMD, right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, click on yes. And here you're going to have to copy and paste in two commands. Both of these commands will be in the description down below in the article from our website, it's techbase.com. The first command is dism.exe slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. Basically, this command will clean up the system image and will try to restore its health if it has any missing important system files or any corrupted system files. To run the command, and just press enter and the process will start. Basically, Windows will automatically try to clean up the image and restore its health. The second command that we're gonna run in the command prompt is sfc space slash scan now. This command will scan the operating system yet again for missing files, corrupted files and stuff like that. Basically, we'll check all the important system files and we'll try to replace them or fix the issues if it finds any. Just wait for the process to be finished. It can take up to 10 minutes combined with the other command, but don't forget that both of these commands will be in the description down below in the article from the website istechbase.com. After you run the commands, make sure to restart your computer and then try to run the Windows 11 installation assistant again, but this time, Right click on it and then click on run as administrator and then click on yes. A lot of users reported that simply by running the Windows 11 installation assistant as administrator fixed the issue for them. So now just go and continue with the process and see if now you can install Windows 11 using the Windows 11 installation assistant without receiving that annoying error. These were the fixes that I found for this error and that worked for a lot of users. Let me know down below in the comments if it also helped you fix the issue and if you have any other other possible solutions to this issue, don't forget to let us know in the comments down below and we can try to pin your comment because like that other users can find the comment and maybe fix the issue with your help. If the video is useful and if you fix the problem, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.